In today's video, we're opening up a Yu-Gi-Oh! collection box with old vintage cards inside. What's up guys, we're back with another collection opening. We have some pretty old school cards to show you guys today, but before we hop into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Legendary Collection GX Secret Rares that we pulled in a video recently. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card in the collection. I think there's some really awesome ones, and hopefully they're in great condition. But before we open it, we do have a note. Hey Ruxin, it's Logan, or Logan, on Insta. I just wanted to say, congrats on 200K. Been a subscriber since 15K and can't wait to do business with you. I definitely overpacked for for 32 cards okay so there's, i remember there being a smaller amount and it was a really big box so i didn't know exactly what was going on there but can never be too sure so at least they're going to be safe i mean there's a lot of room for protection i guess all right so logan sent us this which is you know obviously a little bit smaller than that box but hey better more room than less room is that what i would always say i mean i don't always say that, but now I'll start saying it. Okay, I got them out. We have, they're all top loaded, which seems to be, or at least maybe they all are, at least a lot of them are. This is a quality over quantity collection, it seems. I don't remember exactly what's in here. I remember one specific card, but I, if it's a lot like that card, then it's gonna be a great collection. Let's see what Logan sent us and what we will be picking up today. Okay, so it looks like some of these are not top loaded, so I guess these are more the low end cards. Let's find out. So the first card we have is an unlimited magic ruler forceful sentry. That's pretty cool. We have game promos. We have the a gate attack from the sacred cards a very classic gba game that basically everyone had if you had a gba oh is that a reverse ring of destruction that is beautiful secret rare looking good there we got a slate warrior that's from world championships 2004 the game i think that might have been was that game boy as well I, I didn't have that one we have the flute of summoning dragon that's sdk we've got an unlimited mrl mystical space typhoon we've got sorcerer of dark magic this one is from the movie pack this is when you don't get the blue eyes shining 3200 attacks pretty nice like beast skull monster reincarnation that's a super We've got a Nobleman of Cross out first ed from Pharaoh's Servant. Very cool. Vampire Lord from Rise of Destiny. Royal Command. Maybe a little bit of a fade there. Interesting. First ed from LON. Beautiful. A is that now not a reverse Imperial Order, just regular Imperial Order. Then we have Revival Jam, first ed from LON. So pretty nice old school cards there. For the most part, seems like they're in pretty good condition. We're gonna be going through the higher end ones and actually checking condition on those though. All right, so uh the next one is a Heartbeats Feather Duster. So also from a Game Boy game, the SDD, Stairway to Destin Duel. Let's pull it out, check it out, see if it's in good condition. Front looks to be pretty clean on this. Back does as well. This looks like a very clean card. Might be a couple of small scratches, but overall, this seems to be a really good condition. Harpy's Feather Duster. All right. Very cool. I mean, still a playable card to this day. It's at one. It's not even a, at three because it's so good. It was banned for a very long time. Okay, next up. So we got some game promo action. A lot of old school. Ooh, a Dark Magician SDY. Not first dead. I mean, that would be crazy, but Unlimited is still very nice if it's in good condition. Let's look at it. The way he's like packaged these makes it seem like he kept good like care of these cards a little bit of a small indent right there but not too much let's see can you see more on there overall it seems to be okay condition i don't know how it would grade with that like slight indent but overall like looks like definitely a near mint card which is beautiful and really hard to find these in near mint most of them are like mod play heavy play damage for the most part because people just played the crap out of these okay next one is a dark magician and this is a little bit different because this is like i'm guessing that this dark magician might have been in the uh what is it the dual masters guide so it's a 2004 print they usually looked like this more yellow and then these are the more the old Old original 2002 unlimited so they kind of got that darker print i think I'm not 100 percent sure on that but i'm pretty sure the dual masters guide looked like this the 2004 version and then this was more of the old school originals this is pretty classic let's see how this one looks if it's in the same or similar condition as the other one that one does have a little bit of a bend going on there so that's got a little bend going on back definitely yeah this one's not as good in terms of condition but honestly seeing this just looks amazing these are super pretty cards this dark magician brings back so many memories i mean almost everybody had this card because it was in the starter deck but just seeing it like man such a nice looking card okay what's up next so pretty cool old nostalgic card so far let's see if there's anything huge we have a bpt dark magician okay where's the secret rare going is it reverse no that is a regular secret rare that's fine let's see what kind of condition it's since bpt so i don't expect too much we got some silvering at the top we got a little bit uh yeah back scuffing probably right out of the tin like that for all we know that whenever we open these bpts that's just how they tend to appear which is still not bad still decent condition 
What is this? Buster Blade or Pharaoh Servant? Okay, no first eds yet. We're looking for, the, I mean, we have a like revival jam and stuff, but none of the big ones have been first ed yet. Here we go. Buster Blader, unlimited, definitely an OG print. Definitely not like a 25th or a reprint 2017. Definitely got some weird to it though and some scuffing, but still a pretty Buster Blader. You love to see those originals. The foil shines really nicely in this. All right, what do we got next? Will it be a first ed card? We have a Monster Reborn LOB. So this is a spell card. So you can tell immediately this is not a 2002. Could be a 2003 print. They When they started doing spell, got a little bit into that corner, unfortunately. Oh man, it's, pre it's pretty bad. But other than that, it's really clean. It's just that one, you know, it's pretty significant bend on the corner, but otherwise still a really cool looking card. This is probably, if I had to pinpoint it, between 2003 and 2005 print. No, it's 2003, definitely, because 2005 would have EN and 2004 as well. So this is a 2003 after they changed from magic to spell. So could have been from a tin, could have not. I think the tins usually are magic, but sometimes they do have spell as well. Okay, not bad. We're figuring those out. Another Monster Reborn. We got a magic card this time. Let's see if we can pinpoint. This is probably unlimited 2002. Oh, wow. This one definitely has some wear to it. Definitely a little beat up on this Monster Reborn. Yeah, a little is an understatement. Definitely unlimited 2002 or same thing, 2003. I would guess based on how it looks, it's 2002, but uh, I could be wrong. Unfortunately, very beat up. All right, next card is, ooh, a first ed. It's Invader of the Throne. Why did this one get a top loader, but Revival Jam didn't? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> that is what I'm wondering. All right, Invader of the Throne. Yeah, the top's not looking great. You can't really see it on the camera, actually. It looks a lot better through the camera than it does live, which is interesting. It looks almost minty in the camera, but on the top, I can see a bunch of corner issues. Okay, but still not bad. I mean, compared to that Monster Reborn, this thing's like mint. I'm just having fun going through these. This is what I have to do every time. I really should be marking these as I go. Okay, next card is United We Stand First Edition. Okay, Labyrinth of Nightmare coming in clutch. Will this be a minty looking United We Stand? Unfortunately not. We got a little bend there. Oh, pretty, pretty significant bend. Goes to the back. Man, that's it. That's the only thing. The rest of it's clean, unfortunately. First Ed United We Stand, still a really awesome First Ed card, a beautiful foiling. Foiling just hits on these old cards. All right, let's keep going. I know a lot of you guys enjoy these videos. They're a little bit more uh, slow paced, calm. So if you are enjoying them, make sure to let me know that you wanna see more collection purchases like this. Graceful Charity, very cool. First Ed, oh, they're all got those bins at the bottom. Man, and they're so clean too. Like these feel like they're old school, like from a collection and like they were kept in such great condition minus the bins, which it was just hard not to bend stuff back in the day. All right, still a few cards left. What else do we have? We have a pre-mat. That's a great card. Premature burial. Looking strong, looking awesome. Will it have a bend to it? I think the corner has a little bit of a bend. Let's see. This corner is the one that's a little bent. You can kind of see it in the light. That's not too bad though, if that's the only thing. The rest of this surface looks really clean. That corner really isn't even that bent. This is like lightly played, maybe, like at worst. Yeah, that's really it. This card's actually pretty nice. All right, we're down to like maybe 10 cards, a little bit more than that. Let's find out. We have a Penguin Soldier. All right, the Penguin, the Soldier. Got some cards from the starter decks. That's pretty classic. Penguin, how you looking? Um, Okay, Penguin clean. Uh, there is a little corner, very slight bend, very slight bend. In, but the rest looks pretty good overall not bad definitely uh a very solid condition card one of the best we've seen so far i wouldn't list it as near mint on tcg just because people would want you know mint for near mint so i'd probably put light play but it's really good all right anything else big come on let's see what we can get oh no is this bent can i tell us at the sleeve beast of talwar all right pharaoh's servant get some ultras this is one we have not pulled in a long time out of pharaoh's servant okay wow this thing seems really glossy for some reason okay okay it's not bad it's all the top corners like not being perfect but this one's definitely pretty decent i would say this is a very solid condition old school card for sure a little bit of silvering on the top too but really not bad a little small amount of scuffing on the back as well but very cool looking card. I mean, there's something about this lighting that is just crushing it right now. Tawar definitely has an underrated artwork. That looks really, really good. What else we got? Goblin Attack Force. A lot of Pharaoh's Servant. I don't know. What could that mean? What else will be in here? Goblin Attack Force. Ultra rare. It's got, oh, it's got a slight bend. It's like a little bit of a dent. It's like a binder ding, I think. Probably was in a binder at some point. You can kind of see it coming through on the back. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That happens to a lot of old school cards, especially like when back in the day, we had no idea about binder dings. We didn't know, really care about getting 
condition either. All right, what is up next? We have, oh, the blue eyes white dragon. All right, L-O-B, not L-O-B. I mean, SDK, I got a little excited there. No L-O-B blue eyes, that would be cool. SDK, this is definitely a 2002, I would, I would guess. Not definitely, I say definitely. There's a little bit of a dent right there. Very cool card. Looks like it might have a binder ding as well up there. I gotta double check that. I feel like you can see the name through the back a little bit. Can you guys see this? You can, if you catch it in the right light, you guys can see that there is a, it is coming through the back, not super obvious, but it is coming through the back, the name, which is interesting. That does happen sometimes on old school cards. Very interesting to see that. I haven't seen that in a while, but SDK, Blue Eyes White Dragon, still really cool. Okay, a few cards left. Lord of D, Secret Rare. We're gonna pick it up a little bit because I'm going a little slow, but I'm kind of enjoying this. Secret Rare, BPT, very nice. Just run through this real quick. Yeah, mod play, yeah, with that little ding, the scuffing on the back. Beautiful secret. 2002 secret rares were incredible. The secret rares from the 10, they just crushed those. Okay, few cards left. Will there be something huge in here? Summon Skull from the 10. All right. Come on, give us a minty one. If I graded one of these a 10, it would be insane. Look at that secret rare, man. That is beautiful. Wait, this one looks a lot better. It does have some scratches on the back. It's definitely not perfect. It's got that whitening right there. This is definitely better than the Lord of D. The front looks really good. I wonder if this came in a blue eyes 10. Wink, wink. Anybody remember that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Okay, is is it a full BPT set? Let's find out. We have, oh, good start. We're our, uh, net. We're now three out of six right now. Red Eyes Black Dragon looking good. Oh man, that thing got a nice bend on it. Yeah, this thing is real beat up. It's got some dings on the back, some scuffing. Yeah, that thing is, it's got a giant dent in the middle, unfortunately, but still really beautiful card. Classic secret rare from BPT 2002. I bet it's a BPT set. That's what I'm guessing. Come on. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, Toon Mermaid. First dead. This isn't bad either. We can take this. Toon Mermaid. I once graded a couple times I graded a PSA 10, I think. We got a little small ding at the bottom. A little stuff going on with the corners. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's decent. Toon Mermaid. MRL first. We'll take it. All right, we're down to three cards left. What will be... Oh! Genzo! This is the one I knew. I knew there was a Genzo in here. I don't remember anything else. So there's still two more cards. I guess, are they better than Genzo? That'd be pretty impressive. I don't know what kind of condition this thing's in. Oh no, it's got a ding at the top. Got a little ding at the top up there. It's got a little bend on the corner. Wow, okay, but still, these are really nice. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, I got some scuffing on the top. Definitely scuffing on the back. Oh, dent in the middle. Does it come all the way through? I can't really see it on the front, but you can definitely see it on the back right there. Dent right there so it would be on this side yeah you can see it actually dang still a really awesome first ed pharaoh's servant secret rare so we're not looking at like a lot of minty cards today but we are looking at some very nostalgic these are nostalgic condition like they were definitely used or like someone had these in their collection and really enjoyed them which is always really cool to pick up some of those as well it doesn't always have to be like psa 10 to be appreciated all right two cards left i don't know what to expect now we have a blue eyes from ske yeah, wow okay what a <laughs> what a wet fart way to end this yeah <laughs> ske this this is the one that people are always like, I have that blue eyes. Talking about the LOB blue eyes and then it's just the SKE version. Yeah. These are very cheap even to this day. These are not that crazy. And they're kind of just like lame because you could get this artwork in LOB or in BPT 2002. So it's like, this is like the third option and it's a super. So it's kind of like, eh, okay. You know, not that crazy. Hopefully we don't enter an SYE Dark Magician. That would be rough. Okay, okay, JMP. We at least got a blue eyes. JMP is still pretty cool. Same thing with this one though. This could be the, the game promo version. That one looks a little bit better, but this one's still cool. It does have like the uh, white lightning action ha shot happening, which is pretty cool. This one's also pretty clean actually. Corner's a little white, but uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> got some damage at the bottom, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, fun collection. A lot of old school nostalgia cards. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and checking out the conditions. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, check it out for more epic content and previous epic content over 1500 videos on the channel. So might as well go watch them. Hey guys, I wanted to let you guys know at the end of this video that I did not end up purchasing this collection. A couple reasons I wanted to let you know, because number one, a lot of times people ask me, hey, do you have this card for sale? Is it available? So no, it's not. Uh, a lot of people will still ask me and then they'll get to this part and they'll say, actually, I just saw the end of the video. Yeah, it's not available, my bad. But secondly, I wanted to show the video because I went through a lot of the conditions on this collection a lot more than I even usually do. It turned out, because when I open these up, I haven't actually paid for them a lot of the time because we agree, send them to me, I'll check them out, make sure 
sure everything looks good and then I'll send you the money. So we did that here. I checked everything out and I was like, okay. So then I priced everything out. I sent him the price and he didn't agree with the conditions on that I evaluated, which is not a big deal. The guy's super chill. I'm not like insulting him or anything, but I ended up just sending it back because uh, a lot of time, if you don't agree on condition, then the price is gonna be so far apart. Like if I think it's mod play and he thinks it's near mint, that's like a very big gap there. And there's not really a reason to continue like doing business at that point. You should just send it back to him because they're, they think they can get near mint price, which I disagree. You know, I thought that they were more like lower conditions, but it seems like he might not have a lot of experience in, in GCG or like actual condition. Cause a lot of times people will come back with their old collection. And I remember doing this myself when I first got back my old cards or looked at my old cards for the first time in 2018, I was like, man, these cards are really nice shape. Like when I was looking up the prices, I was looking up near mint price and everything. And nowadays I go back and look at them, but there's like creases in them and stuff. And I thought they were near mint. So it can show that like when you're first getting back into it, or maybe you're not super well versed or you don't do trading cards a ton, you don't really, you know, mess with the conditions. You might not know that like a crease means like it's probably heavily played now because it has a crease in it. Or if it's like got a slight bend on the corner, that can't be near mint. Or if it's got, you know, scratches on the back, that's going to drop it down to light play, stuff like that. So it's just stuff that you wouldn't notice. But I wanted to show like me evaluating the cards and then let you guys know that not everybody knows that. And a lot of you guys probably don't know about evaluating conditions either because you're either just getting back into it, you're new to it, you never really paid attention to it. Maybe you don't even buy cards, you just watch the videos. So I thought it'd be interesting to show, you know, some of the cards that we checked out, some of the prices that we kind of popped up on the screen and stuff like that. And uh, just a little bit of an update at the end because I didn't want you guys to think that we bought it and we didn't. So it didn't go through. No big deal to the guy because he was actually super chill. He's a fan of the channel. So it was cool. I'll send it back to him. He'll, you know, do whatever he wants with it. I guess he'll try to sell it on his own or whatever. He says that other people offered him more. So I was like, cool, perfect. You can sell it to them. It'll go well. So uh, I figured I'd let you guys know at the end of the video. Let me know in the comments your experience with like conditioning cards, selling stuff, buying stuff, all that different stuff, because there's a lot of nuance when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I'll be interested to see you guys' stories in the comments. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.